This is the RX 570 Pulse Edition with 4GB of memory. It costs $279 on Amazon, but how will it perform at cryptocurrency mining? Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today we're going to be benchmarking this RX 570 on Ethereum, Ubic, Zcash and Monero. Of course there are going to be coins like Ethereum Classic, Hush and whatsoever that are actually the same algorithms as these coins. Well, Ethereum and Ubic are the same, but for some reason it does make a difference as you guys said. And we also noticed a slight difference in Ubic, so we are adding this to the benchmarks from now on. Because Ubic is being mined pretty much these days as well, like Ethereum is. It's gonna probably replace Ethereum when it switches to proof of stake. So let's get started. First of all we started off with benchmarking Ethereum. We set our voltage to minus 96 millivolts, we set our core clock to 1150 megahertz and our memory clock all the way to 2050 megahertz. If we go above that it's gonna be unstable. And we accomplished a really nice 29.2 megahertz per second. That's pretty good for this card because damn I love it. Next up we tried to mine Ubic with the same core and memory speeds and you guys said it was gonna be a huge difference, but for this card it was just 29.2 mega ashes per second as well. Next up we benchmarked Zcash with the same core and memory speeds as before and we managed to get 275 hashes per second or solutions per second as known on Zcash mining. This is actually really bad because you are using about 100 watts on the GPU only when we have a GTX 1060 of 3GB using only 50 or 60 watts on the GPU doing the same hash rate as this card. So Zcash mining isn't so good on a RX 570 Pills edition. But Monero reached a really nice 711 hashes per second and that's actually really good for this card. So 100 watts with 711 hashes per second is pretty darn good. So this card does have some really good properties. It's really good at Ethereum mining and also in Monero mining. Also the price was pretty reasonable on what this card is capable of doing. So this card is actually really good to use for mining. But one more thing, this card is pretty hard to get these days because everyone seems to be buying this one to mine with. So it's gonna be hard to get one on your hands, but this card is definitely the way to go. So it's a really good card, that's the answer. So if you still think like, hey man, you have done some really good research on this card, but what is the actual game performance of this graphics card? We can also add the gaming performance of the graphics cards that we're showing you. So you can have some resale value if you want to sell your cards after mining, because there's always going to be some new cards. And if you're going to resell your cards, you're going to be like, hey man, this card can do like a score of 13,000 on 3D benchmarks. So if you think it's a good idea, please like the video and tell me in the comments below like hey man we want to see the fire strike of this graphics card at the same time even when it's bios modded or whatsoever so hopefully you all enjoyed this video today and see you guys in the next one